welcome you to worship. For those of you who are on site, those of you who are on your way, uh, we are glad to be in the house of the Lord today. Somebody said, this is the day that the Lord has made. We rejoice and we are glad in it. And so we bless the Lord on this day that the Lord has made. Today marks the milestone in our fellowship. Woo! Amen! It is New River's one-year anniversary to be on site in this church. Amen? I came to Philadelphia in July of 2019. I had been in conversation with a, the, the Administrative Commission of New River, that at the time was the West Philadelphia Presbyterian Partnership. I was struck by the people that I met, the city, the, the area, the West Philadelphia area that um, ministry could be born and um, be um, manifested in. And I, I was also really struck by these three congregations that were really stepping out on faith, really having to navigate the loss of, of what was and enter into something new. And that really drew me in. Those congregations had been in seasons of discernment around what the future would look like for many years, you know, decades. And there was, I think, a Kairos timing happening with uh, the leadership at the Presbytery of Philadelphia, um, noticing these congregations, noticing that these were three congregations, yes, that were dealing with decline, but also there was some sparks of life and a desire to want to grow. I am a lifelong Presbyterian. I'm a cradle Presbyterian. So I've been affiliated with First African my entire life. Of the five oldest African-American congregations, we were the fourth that was established. So first was Mother Bethel um, Methodist uh, AME. Uh, then second was um, St. Thomas Episcopal. Third was Mother Zor Methodist, and we were number four. The fifth was First African Baptist. So all of the oldest, press, uh, all of the oldest religious experiences among African American people were born here in Philadelphia. I've been connected with with Calvin Presbyterian Church since I was five years old. So that makes it uh, nineteen. 63, I started as a Sunday school student, um, right down the steps and the door in the back where uh, Sunday school was held. That began my journey. I it clicked in Sunday school. I guess I was around nine or so that uh, <laughs> the Lord, I understood what it meant that the Lord loved me and gave his life for me. and. Um, uh, that was a journey that uh, has continued. Bringing together of two cultures, it's just hard work. You gotta build relational trust. Um, we never use the word merger. That's why West Philadelphia Partnership, we never uh, dissolved the congregations. We were just trying to keep shepherding the possibilities, right? And then there's this fire. We've been um, members of Good Shepherd Presbyterian Church for 
well over 20 years, I'd say close to 22 years. We had a lot of programs in this church, um, from uh, a lot of kids' programs. We had six, six other churches We're, that shared our, property. shared our property. We were a three-story building, and we used to service as the classrooms for the school that's being rebuilt two blocks down. The truth mm -hmm. is, when tragedy happens and we find ourselves distressed in the dark, we may wonder where God is. We may have some questions, and we find ourselves in the dark. So part of our commitment during these first few years before Eustacia was in an effort to honor the legacy of each small group. They needed time to trust one another, to really move in beyond their words. They needed to feel secure in their new identity, to make the choice for themselves. We became West Philadelphia Presbyterian Partnership before we became New River. And we went through the process of determining what the name should be. And then uh, when we determined what the name should be, we had a, a wedding ceremony, if you will. And it was a great big glass bowl. And we were all given smooth stones. And if you agreed to the marriage, you put your stones in the water. And that's how we became one family. Our last Sunday worshiping by Zoom was in 2023 the last Sunday of March of 2023. So it was literally three years of worshiping online. And it's a strange grace because as much of grief as we were dealing with and change and uncertainty, it brought the members of this uh, budding church together. And on Resurrection Sunday, like what better Sunday to come into a new space? It was the first time that the congregation had seen the newly refreshed space, right? They had, so there was a literally like a restoration here in the body of this facility that really spoke to the moment of kind of restoration and even resurrection of this community. The members of New River, uh, River Presbyterian Church are, uh, I would say, a joyful uh, group of also. So um, people who are just, you know, down to earth, uh, try to be welcoming to, uh, to everyone. We, um, we say we don't meet strangers. We try to meet brothers and sisters and siblings. And um, they are people who are uh, trying to follow Jesus. Historically, uh, the first African stream um, had a, um, and we still do, our, our free medical clinic and uh, also the, the food pantry where people can have emergency, you know, get emergency groceries. We're here to be um, a blessing, to serve the good of the neighborhood, to, to make a difference, to see the prospering of this community. Um, it is an area where uh, uh, most households are low-income households, um, and there are many, many issues that come alongside that with poverty. We have a vision to develop uh, a, a affordable housing complex next door that will include a commercial corridor and green space, that all of that coming from our listening process and our engagement with our community. The Presbytery partnered with Penrose developers and in the development of a senior affordable housing, which will be located at the 6400 block of Lansdowne Avenue in West Philadelphia. And uh, New River will ground lease the land to the, the, to the developer. And the New River will provide some uh, social services and care for the residents in that, uh, in that complex, which is really a part of our extended witness uh, to, to the neighborhood. I would love to engage, have some type of formal programs that engage the young folks and um, to let them know that, that it's going to be all right if it isn't all right. Um, and there's a lot of uh, things that, especially with the violence and, um, you know, just drugs and alcohol and different things that plague 
you know, their lives that I would love to see us with programs that spoke to all of that. We would like to revisit having um, daycare inside the church and having after school programs inside the church and having all kinds of educational opportunities be inside the church. Like I said, we're looking forward to new beginnings. New beginnings for, for our property and now the new beginnings at First African, which is now New River. Immediately when I step into this space, I feel a tremendous amount of responsibility, honor, um, inspiration. It is the history that propels us forward. We did a asset mapping event where we had upwards of 70 people from the community, residents, stakeholders, uh, from the congregation come together and dream and imagine uh, what this space might be as a community hub. We also um, see the, the mobile uh, chairs and um, the extended uh, pulpit area that allows for uh, p more people and more activity to happen. So you could do a jazz vesper, you could do a play, you can do some kind of fine arts program. All of that could happen in this space. We could remove the chairs and have um, a wonderful community dinner, an opportunity to share and fellowship with our neighbors and one another. We know that we can't do it alone. So I would say that is really on our minds right now. Who will, who will, who will we walk with? Um, who will we continue to walk with as we see God unfolding this vision? There's a song that we did on Easter, and it's more of a contemporary song, but it talks about God uh, moving us forward and following Jesus forward and how God makes all things new. This New River Movement is such a, an embodiment of the faithfulness of God. And we have experienced that together. Um, we continue to see God's hand move on um, the lives of God's people. And so um, I can hear that resounding in this place. I'll say yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. I'll say yes, Lord, yes. I will trust you and obey when your spirit speaks to me with my whole heart I'll agree and my answer will be yes Lord yes that's that's it right there yeah this congregation will have a lot to sing about mm -hmm.